I just try to, to ignore it. And sometimes when it's too many people, I just shut up um, and just be in my own bubble so that I won't, it's too much like impressions, too many impressions. And um, I mean, when I am on the stage and speak to people, I focus more on the words I am actually saying than how I am delivering them. And I think that is very important because today everyone is encouraged to to take more place and to speak louder and to and I I don't want to to do that. I want to take a few steps back and not take up so much space. So and why are you so much interested in that climax topic personally? Was there some kind of personal experience in your childhood? Um, many experiences, but I I've always been a bit different from others, and I, if I would have been like everyone else, I had just I would have just continued like before. But now I couldn't do that. I could. I remember watching films um, of plastic in the ocean and starving polar bears and so on, and I. I was very sad and everyone else, my classmates, were also very sad. But when the movie was over, everyone just kept on going like before. They weren't bothered by that film. But I couldn't do that because those pictures were stuck in my head. And I, I got home to... I don't know how many hours I spent alone and on libraries just reading and information. So if we talk about the young generation, a question for both uh, of you. Um, should we start teaching in school maybe with a topic like Greta, can we still save our world? Um, that depends on how you define save the world. Is it like avoiding setting off an irreversible chain reaction beyond human control? I mean, the majority of studies shows that we can still turn it around if we act now. I mean, it's possible within the laws of physics. Um, but for that we have to change ourselves. We can't, it's not possible if we continue like this, but it's possible if we change. Yes. So, um, how long do you want to go on fighting? Is there a point where you would say, okay, I'm out of here now? I, I always, I always say that I'm going to continue doing this until Sweden is in line with the Paris Agreement. And my, my demand is that the world should be in line with the Paris Agreement. And so I think, um, yeah, but, but that will take years. This is a restricted area. Stay where you are. You're not allowed in there. This is your only warning. 50% may be acceptable to you, but those numbers do not include tipping points. Most feedback loops... 